So Anita, it's been really great to talk about metaphors in this chapter. And one of the things that we do at the end of each chapter is we have invited um, people who are working their way through the ebook to be thinking about their own story and some particular uh, challenge that they're facing in their lives and reflecting on that story as they move through each chapter, applying the relational principles and practices that we've talked about in the chapter. So I'm wondering um, what you would say to people in terms of how to use metaphors in that self-reflection on their own story or journey. Sure, I would think if you've written something about that already in your reflections, you could go back and look at the things that are coming out as salient for you. You probably have in your own story, numerous metaphors, maybe one is dominating or there, there are multiple metaphors in there, but I invite you to look at those things around, especially orientation, you might think about obstacles, even that an obstacle in your path is either sort of enabling something, is it enabling you to go on a different path or is it a blockage? Um, we might think about, about um, our, if, if you do think of life journey or relations in space time, what does movement and what, what do those metaphors that you use show you about movement, your values, who is important, what is going to sustain you and others? So I think it would be a good practice as you map your own journey, even the word map, right, is a kind of a cartography, a, a cartographical kind of um, map of your journey. If that, if that journey metaphor works for you, and I'm not suggesting it works for everyone, but what are the key metaphors that are in your own life story? What are the, in the key, um, key metaphors that you're, you're listening to when you're talking to others about your own life story and how will those shape maybe how you talk to others um, as a, in a sort of a counselor client relation or even as you make your own way through your studies and reflective practices. Reflection, another one, right? Mm -hmm. Reflection is a mirror. So even the act of reflecting upon where you are is holding up a mirror to what you're doing. And there's in all of our professions in, in education and health, there's a real value to that, right? That we, we value the holding up of a mirror to see if that is doing something. And the mirror will offer us, we think, some truths <laughs> to, oh, I didn't see that one like that, right? So it's not gonna represent, it's not gonna show just an image, it's going to reflect some of the good, bad, ugly, whatever that is. So yeah, just the whole uh, principles of reflection are deeply metaphoric and they show us the values that we have in these professions for shaping, reshaping, shifting our focus and attention so that we can improve or um, you know get out of obstacles and and be in 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 good ways with each other. Great, thank you. I think that will be a very helpful process for um, people that are working their way through this ebook um, to reflect, to engage in their own mirroring or reflection on on uh, their own stories.